Hello everybody and welcome here to Sonoma for race number three of the Netflix Sportsman series. The Audis have swept the front row here at Sonoma. It is uh, it's Robert Pollard and Cougar Eyes. It is Joey Murphy and Kelly Boston. DJ Curtis. It's DJ Curtis and then Chris Dodd. Alonzo, Stephen Pollard, Zedek Price, Zachary Fitzwater, Sam Curtis, DJ Harris. Coming to the green flag. It's going to be the two Audis leading us to the green. Green flag is out. And Robert, I believe that's Robert, might be Oreo. Pollard got a great start. Robert Pollard got a great start through the first corner. Talking to everybody, there was, there was a lot of rumors that the Audis were going to be bad fast. Robert Pollard right now driving his heart out. He's got 20 laps. Can he get the job done? Oh, the 15's off course. So is Fitzwater. There's an Audi right here. Sam Curtis did not have a good qualifying run. He spun the tires. She said he couldn't get all the power to the car down to the racetrack. There's another Audi right beside him, the four. But we got cars running off course. Get you to the top ten. That's Robert Pollard's teammate, Steve Pollard. He's deep in the field. This could be a battle for 10th right here between the 43 and the 20. The 99 is a 10. So Deck Price is in that final transfer, the final point spot. As you notice, the 55. The 55 is in the point spot. And the 55 is already four seconds off the leader of Robert Pollard pulling away. And it's Cougar Ice. Oh, look at Fitzwater diving in under Stephen Pollard. Fitzwater trying to get up to the front. Zachary Fitzwater, he's, he wants to win at road courses. That's where he is probably the best at. Road course racing. Riding up on the curb. Down the straightaways. Out of the S's. But you don't want to lose that final transfer spot. And the 29 gonna slide it in through there. Get you back up here. There's maybe cool guy eyes about to be running down Robert Pollard. I think they ran no. Cooper has been a little bit faster than the Quaker State Audi. Joey Murphy really doesn't have enough, and there's DJ Curtis in the Hyundai. The Hyundai, DJ Curtis, this team, this Hyundai team, Sonata, it's not, a, it's not a real powerful car on the big ovals, except the Auto Club, he was kind of really fast, he was up in the front, but apparently Hyundai was only going to run one car, that's why it's, it's DJ Curtis, his other two family members, I believe, Sam Curtis is in an Audi, and Ash Curtis is in a Mercury. Race has calmed down some. They're off single file. It's following lead. There's Oreo Pollard and Pontiac. Pontiac's not had any speed today. Or any speed through the whole week. Look at the 30. Jonathan Fitzwater trying to go into the 24. It's Mitchell DeYoung coming to the front. It's 55 trying to get under Fitzwater for ninth. He got really, he got a little arrow loose. He didn't want to try to make a big pass. 
as Robert Pollard pulls away again from Cool Guys, the French driver. Fifteen, right now running seventh. Really don't know how he's up here. Alonzo, because he is in the Pontiac, and Pontiacs so far have not had great speed. His teammate all the way back in the back of the pack. See Oreo Pilot back there. Steve Pilot in the Audi in 20th. Sam Curtis and John Gilbert, the other Audis, are on the outskirts out of the uh, out of this final transfer position. The deck price wants it. Final board was the deck. Good he is to that final section. Robert Pollard might be the road course racer in the Pollards, and it looks like Caution is out. It looks like Mitchell DeYoung and Ryan Swan have an issue. I'm going to get you to the Caution, and I guess everyone's going to probably come in and pit. Last five laps here on the big course. Let's we'll see what happened to the Cadillac of, of Mitchell DeYoung, who was actually 18. So I had to start with him. Oh, it just looks like he just... My car just broke. He drove it in there on the 30. I think he thought he drove it in deep. He locks up the front tires. Yeah, you see it locks up the, locks up the front and rears. And Ryan Swan was involved in this. He had the same problem. Alright, he just got loose. You seen him bobble the... The other car wiggled. Watch the Ryan Swan. He gets in the corner right here, and it just looks like that car did not want to turn. Let's see, watch the 70. Watch the Ford Falcon in front of him. It's in the track. Turn it. Watch his. He gets tight, and then all of a sudden, as he got tight, he just yanked it back to the left, and it just went around on him. No contact, no damage. I think Dijon has got a little side scrub and stuff. But we're gonna get you to the front of the field here, and we're gonna get you to green flag or possibly pit stops. They run through the S's. Robert Pollard. Nope, oh, nobody came. No one coming in. Maybe yeah, I thought maybe if you. Oh, somebody is coming in, and it is Ash uh, Ash Wheeler in a Ford Falcon. So Wheeler could be gambling. Wheeler could be gambling here coming into pit. Only car to come into pit road. We're going to take the green at lap 8 of 20. Robert Pollard, Cougar Ives. And the two Audis lead Joey Murphy in a Mercury and DJ Curtis in a Hyundai Sonata. Green flag is back out here at Infineon. Sonoma. And Robert Pollard got a great start in that Audi. Robert Pollard put the power down, but Cougar Eyes also getting some power down. Here comes DJ. Trying to make a pass. Now this is opening some big doors for the guys. Look at Fitzwater trying to get to the front. Under Stephen Pollard. Almost got into the dirt. Don't want to do that, but he needs to get in front of the 99. He needs to stay in that 10th spot. 99 almost ran off the course. The 4 had to check up for him. Look at the 24 diving in there, Ash Curtis. Cars hitting the dirt. By 
I don't hear you. Look at the 24 almost into the 30 in the door. Through the asses. Eric Dobbs back here behind Louis going to run all over him here. Through the final corner. Going to try to push him by Jonathan Fitzwater. Oh, somebody's around. It's Sam Curtis. I don't know if that's a caution or not. Is the pace car out? No, it is not. So something happened to Sam Curtis. We're going to go take a quick look at it. Checked a lot of cars up. Oh, it looks like the Ford, his own Audi teammate, just pushed him and got him sideways, and he Ash had to lock it up, so going around. I put Ash all the way back to 22nd. Somebody's around at the 71. Oh, he's in the wall a ton, too. Lily, uh, not him. Lily Murphy gave, I think, Steve Pollard a shot. You can see the 30 get sideways from the hit. Watch the tire marks here. Willie Murphy trying to get in there and just got loose, steps out. No one else gets involved in it. We'll get you back to you to the start finish line. Hopefully, nothing has happened yet. Let's see. 10th place right now is Zachary Fitzwater. So caution number two, Alex Wheeler, who went to pit road last time, could become the leader as we have taken halfway. So we're going to see if we're going to pits. Do the Audis need to pit? Or do they have enough fuel? We're looking, looks like. None of the top center pitting. But it does look like the four is. That's John Gilbert coming to pit road. So another gambler. Some of these guys, it's kind of a gamble for them to stay out. Knowing that they've got top ten. Top ten is the only place you get points. Wheeler here. He went to pit road, so we're going to get you to the green. As John Gilbert goes down pit road, they're going to change four tires and give him a can of gas. The hopes to make the end of this race. Apparently, no one is out of the race. Everyone's still in it. Pace car is in. Cougar eyes all over Robert Pollard, giving him a little bump. Actually, it looks like Joey Murphy's got some damage. Good. Getting ready to go green. Robert Pollard bringing us down. Cougar eyes in second. Joey Murphy, DJ Curtis. And Kelly Boston. And the top four got great starts this time. Shit, look at... Look at Joey Murphy to the inside of Cougar Eyes! DJ Curtis now to the inside of Joey Murphy! We have to watch the racing in the back as well. Crazy things could happen. The 99 looks like to be going to the transfer spot as the 44 looks to have some nose damage. Nose is buckled up on the 44. He has ran in the back of somebody. The top four have not changed. 15 is off course. And the Pontiacs are trying. Look at Fitzwater trying to get back in his spot. Grayson Avazino. I don't know. I, I, I'm just trying. Grayson here an 11. Well, he was 11. I don't know about now. Coming to the stripe. Joy Murphy sticking the nose in. Under Cougar eyes. Robert Pollard leads again. 
Cars are getting sideways. Sam Curtis battles with Alex Wheeler on fresh tires. Look at Wheeler fly by. Wheeler is on fresh tires and he is starting to march. Where's John Gilbert? In the four car. Oh, Wheeler is still back here in the back of the pack. Oh, look at this. Here comes Steve Pollard making a charge on Luis Hernandez. Sam Curtis was sideways. Oil Pollard sideways. John Gilbert all over the break to try not to run over the 22. It's Robert Pollard pulls away. Zedek Price trying to make a pass on DJ Harris. It's not going to happen. DJ Harris. Zedek Price still battling for that top 10 spot. Fitzwater wants back up there, but he's got some big time nose damage. I don't know if you can look at Luis Hernandez's nose. It's all flat straight down. And the 44's got the nose buckled. Robert Pollard on the radio telling his crew, feels like the brakes might be wearing out a tiny bit. Could be a problem on the eight. Everyone else trying to fly around. Grayson has gotten by Luis Hernandez. Look at Alex Wheeler. Joshua Sassouli trying to make his way back to the front of the field. Trying to make his way to the top ten. You can see the damage on Fitzwater's car. You can see where the nose is buckled. And a really slow lap out of Robert Pollard. It might be the brakes wearing out on the A car. Man, it's just something weird with these cars once which once the like the 44. Ooh, the 99 diving it in on the 55, making him run it wide. This is what Fitzwater wants to see. He wants to catch up to these two and maybe have a shot at it. 55 running on the curbs. The 99 going to run him into the bank. No. Nope. 55 almost got ran wide by Zedek Price coming to the final corner. To the last part of the S is with the 99 trying to get a run. Here comes Fitzwater trying to get 10. Fitzwater diving it in there deep. Almost into the tires. Zachary Fitzwater wants in the point so bad. Driving it in there. He's going to run it way high on DJ Harris to pass him. That Chevrolet's got some power. Here comes the deck, though. He's back in front of Zadek Price. Now it's now Zadek is the hunter. Get you back to the front of the field. Cougar eyes is running faster laps than Pollard. Even with the damage right now, Fitzwater has got to be be super happy. He's in the points. A lot of people said that his car was the best car here. Somehow it's got the nose knocked in on it. The nose is buckled and we got a car heading to pit road. Fitzwater's in. And the 15 of Alonzo is in. Actually, Robert Pollard is in as well. 
Cougar Eyes, Cougar Eyes is in the lead. And followed by DJ Curtis. And then it is Chris Dawn, Stephen Pollard, DJ Harris, Zanette Price, Ash Curtis, Grayson, Luis Hernandez, Steve Pollard, Eric Dobbs, Andrew Davis. Look at John Gilbert. Gilbert has gotten ahead of Alex Wheeler. Those two have already came in and pitted. And it looks like Joey Murphy has beaten Robert Pollard off of pit road and Pollard had a problem. Car did not want to throw. It stalled on him. You can hear DJ Curtis cutting the engine off. He's, cold. He's clutching it. Trying to save some gas. Cougar Eyes is going to probably try to stretch. And he, DJ Harris says he cannot make it in the Cadillac. That has now let Eric Dobbs into the points. They're telling Cougar Eyes, save fuel. Save fuel. You got a second back to the 97. Hyundai Sonatas have been known to be a gas saver. Is the Sonata going to have enough to maybe try to win this? Or will he have to pit? Look at Chris Dodd up here to third. In the Buick. And Pollard in the Holden. Zadek Price, who was battling for 10th, is now 5th. Ash Curtis is 6th. 7th is Grayson. 8th is Louise. 9th is Steve Pollard. 10th is Eric Dobbs. John Gilbert, who is on fresher tires and has got enough gas to make it. It's running right here in 12. We gotta go to the back up to the front. It's Cougar Eyes heading to pit road with two to go. That team is on the wall. Cougar Eyes is coming in. So is DJ. Chris Dodd is gonna stay out. Zedek Price is in. Ash Curtis is in. Luis Hernandez is also staying out. Eric Dobbs is staying out. John Gilbert. Well, Gilbert's got enough. Him and Wheeler. Two laps to go for DJ Curtis. I mean, not DJ Curtis. Chris Dodd. DJ came in. I thought DJ would be a guy to gamble and stay out. Right now, Eric Dobbs is still battling here with John Gilbert. Chris Dodd's still got a battle. Dodd's got uh, Stephen Pollard right there on him. Which, which is helping, actually, the 24 and the 3. They could save John Gilbert. Actually, Alex Wheeler went to pit road. Wheeler went to pit road. And there's a crash. Caution is out. This is going to end the race. Chris Dodd, all he has to do now is clutch and save. Chris Dodd, all he has to do is run one more lap under pacing conditions. Gilbert trying to catch up to Luis Hernandez. It will not happen. Chris Dodd is going to win the race if he can coast back around to the checkered flag and the 55 is really angry DJ Harris I think him and Alonzo might have made some contact he pinned it in his pit box oh he runs into Steve Pollard man DJ Harris runs into Steve Pollard, and that's what brought out the caution. Just drove it in there and just got into him. We need to get to the to the leader here. He's gonna save gas. He's out. He might be out of gas. The 22 is out of gas.
No, dog, getting back on it. Dog's just clutching, saving it. Actually, he's checking up a lot of the cars, though. Now you just gotta coast down here. We're just gonna sit in here and listen. All these engines are running. The four is definitely running. He's got a lot of gas in that tank. They're telling guys, if you're out of out of gas. You have to go to pit road. You cannot have someone push you. And it looks like Stephen Pollard may have pushed Chris Don two or three times on the cut or the car cut off on him. We'll have to wait and see. Did Chris does Chris Don have enough? Listen to the engines. He's at it. Oh, it's buttered. But coming through the final corner to take the checkered flag, Chris Dodd will win at Sonoma for the Infineon Grand Prix. How about that Chris Dodd? Won the Infineon GP, saved enough gas. Him and Stephen Pollard, Ash Curtis, and Luis Hernandez, and the car that's going to take home the final point is going to be Sam Curtis. After Sam had a big lockup in the final on the final corner, Sam Curtis is going to take home tenth. Cool Gutter Eyes will come from eleventh. Joy Murphy twelfth. DJ thirteenth. Robert Pollard, 14th. Grayson, 15th. Zedek Price, 16th. 17th is Morgan McPherson. It's Alex Wheeler. Andrew Davis. Zachary Fitzwater. Jonathan Fitzwater. Joshua Sassouli. Emmanuel Harnett. Ryan Swan. Steve Pollard. DJ Harris. Alonzo. And Kelly Boston. Kristoff. We're gonna see if he can get back around pit road. Sounds like he is. So next week, if you enjoyed that road course action, next week these cars are gonna be at the road course of Walkins Glen for race number four, the New York Grand Prix. Get our two, get two road courses out of the way early in the season. So till we meet again, everybody.